Hi, I'm Naid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a system with a state machine in both GameMaker and your Node.js server to make your life very much easier. So without any further ado, let's begin. The video shouldn't take too long. So you remember from last video what we have done. We create a function for sending a map data to our server, right? Next, I want to create a state machine. So for that, let's just open up this OBJ global. And in here, I want to create an enum. And I want to call it message type or for short msg type and for example we want some type type of messages for our state machine in both server and in our game maker first type for example create host next join host next stop host so you get the idea what i'm what i'm doing so whenever a player want to create a host the message type should be create host if a player want to join a host, the message type should be join host. When you want to stop the host, if there is no player in it, you want to use this message type. And we add to this message type, message type over the time, okay? So we want to create this enum in our server as well. We want to create an enum in here. But Node.js doesn't have enum like we have it in GameMaker, okay? But there is a way to add enum to Node.js. There is a library for that. Like we require the dgram in here. You remember from the first video that we create, we say npm install dgram for having UDP socket in our server. And for enum, we could do that, but there is another way to do it to make it easier to not require or add any more library for our server we should make our server as optimized as simple as possible because maybe there is a time that a thousand player want to join so we should first use less ram and less code as possible right so let's just use something that is similar to an uh, enum and i think we have it in game maker as well if you say const no we don't have it in game maker but in in node.js we have a type of variable that is called constant okay and with this we can create our enum and i want to call it msg type like we call it in game maker right and we should say equal to this in enum when you create an enum in here you don't need to give it a, va a value so the first input is zero second input is one and third input is two okay in node.js we should give it a value in here and i want to copy and paste this inputs in here just paste it in here okay and for give it a value in here we should say it like this 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 one is zero this one is one and this one is two so with that it's like an enum okay the message type the create host is zero the join host is one and a stop host is two and in game maker it's exactly like that create host is zero join host is one and a stop host is two right so we have this message type now and when we want to use this message type let's just open up this script in here that we create in last video and add another input to it and that is message type or type okay i want to call it type and we want to add this type to our map just watch my last video you will get what i'm doing just before we convert this map to json i want to add this type to our map so for that we say ds map add and the first thing is id that is our map second one is the key that i want to call it type and third one is the type okay so let's just copy and paste this to here okay and with that no we have type now if we open up this obg player you remember we we use this function so at the end of it we should add the type and this time what this a step is doing is just sending the location of our player so the message type should be something like this so let's just add another one in here set layer stat so with this we create another input for our enum in here so let's just add it to our server and for adding that we can add it like this this one is three so zero one two three everything is okay in game maker zero one two three so everything is okay and in here no the message type we can get it in here set player stat and no because we set this type to set player stat we can get this message type in our server but before going to our server let's just go to our function and in here after we create our json i want to add a show debug message in here okay for debug purposes okay 
So first of all, I want to add a character and I want to use this character. What this character means to me, it's, it means whatever that is going after this character is whatever that I'm sending, sending to the server. So this is the way that I debug my game, in, uh, my multiplayer game in Game Maker. And I will show you more method to debug your multiplayer game. So plus this JSON that we create in here and no, everything is okay. So whatever we send, first it, it write this character to the output. And after this character, it show us the data that we want to send. No, let's just go to our server. And in here, like we did in our game maker, we create a show, we add a show debug messages in here. In here, I want to do something similar. I add this character and what this character means to me, it means that whatever is coming after this character, it means whatever we are receiving with this server. So with this character, I know what is coming to our server and what are we sending to clients, okay? Next, we parse this message and put it in data. If you don't know about this line, just watch my videos about multiplayer game. I did talk about it a lot. And in here, I want to create a switch case or a, or a state machine, okay? The thing that I want to check in this switch case is data.type, right? So in here, we set the type. Let me show you in here. We set the type. And if you open up here, the type, you know that the key is type. So in our server, we say data.type. This type is the key. It's exactly this string in here. And I did talk about it a lot. And the first thing we want to check for this message types, okay? So msg type dot player stat, okay? So whenever the type is message uh, set player stat, it will run whatever is between this case and this break. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a function to be readable, right? So let's just create a function in here. And it's exactly like game maker. You say function and in here, for example, I wanna call it set player set okay so this is our function so let's just copy it and paste it in here and it's a little a little bit different than game maker in game maker when you create a function you don't need to pass this uh, for example this map to access it if there is a variable called map in our step function of our object it can get it but in node.js we should pass the variables that you want to access it in this function so i want to pass this data and i want to pass this r info as well response info okay so let's just copy and paste this to our function in here as well and know whatever we say in here for example console.log and i want to say we are in set player state function okay and with that, let's just put semicolon in here. If you run our server now and run our game in here as well, you can see in output in here, it's showing you whatever that we are sending to our server in here, okay? The X ID and the type that is three and the Y. We send all of this data to our server. And in server, let's just stop it for a minute. You can see that we know that this is the data that we are getting in our server with this character, okay? And you can see the X ID of our object, the type and the Y. Everything is working fine. And after that, we know that our function is running because it says we are in set player stat function. So with that, we have our state machine in our server. So let's say in this set player state, we want to send back something to tell this, uh, to tell our client that we have received your data, right? So we say server.send and it needs a message i want to send back the data and for sending back this data we should say json.stringify of course we did talk about it in videos about multiplayer game and we want to send back the data as exactly how they send it to us okay and after that we want to set a port you can see it in here it says give us, give us the port we say rinfo.port next rinfo.address and with that, if you run our server now, in Game Maker, we should get that data, right? In this OBG player that we have in here, if we add a async networking in here, I want to paste some code in here that it's from the videos that I did create before that how you can receive data, okay? And in here, I want to say show debug messages 
and you remember i want to add a character in here and put this character in here it means that we get this data okay so plus the message in here okay message id it will convert it to a string so let's just run our game now the server is running and in game maker you can see it's showing us let's just stop our game in here to show you the data that we are receiving you can see we send this data and we receive this data and you can see the x the id the type and the y value and we can check for this type so you know that this message id is a json so let's just convert it to map i want to call this response is equal json decode and we give it this message in here and it will decode it to this map so this response is a map so now we we can check for ds map find value and the value that i want to find in this response is the type okay if the type is equal to msg type dot set player stat now we can say show debug messages we successfully send layer stat to our server okay so we use this enum in here with this message type to send data to a server and server knows what type of message is coming to our server so let's just run our game again and you can see because the message type is tree the set player state state is tree so the, because the message type is tree it says we successfully sent players that to our server so now everything is okay and we want to use this system to create a host to join a host to stop a host for our chat system for server manager and for all of that i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye